Have you ever wondered why the moon's face, the one we see from Earth, is dominated by the dark patches known as the Maria? These mysterious features, Latin for seas, cover a significant portion of the moon's surface that we can observe from our planet, accounting for a surprising 16%. Early astronomers, intrigued by these dark expanses, mistook them for actual seas. Today we know better, but the question remains, why is the lunar Maria primarily concentrated on the side of the moon that faces us? This question has been perplexing scientists for years, leading to numerous theories and speculations. From the moon's formation to its orbital dynamics, various factors have been proposed to explain this intriguing lunar mystery. Yet, the exact reason remains elusive, making the Luna Maria one of the most fascinating enigmas in our celestial neighborhood. So what exactly is this Luna Maria that has scientists scratching their heads? To solve this lunar mystery, we first need to understand what Luna Maria are. The term Luna Maria refers to the large dark basaltic plains that we see on the moon. These areas are not simply dark patches, rather, they are the result of ancient volcanic eruptions that occurred billions of years ago. The name Maria itself is steeped in a bit of astronomical history. Early astronomers observing these dark expanses through their telescopes mistook them for actual seas. Hence, they named them Maria, which is the Latin word for seas. Clearly, space exploration has come a long way since then, and we now know that these seas are not filled with water, but with solidified lava. Luna Maria are primarily composed of basalt, a type of rock that forms from rapidly cooled lava. This gives them their dark appearance, as basalt is typically grey to black in colour. Compared to the highland areas of the Moon, which are covered in a lighter, more anorthocytic terrain, the Maria are significantly smoother and less cratered. This is a testament to their volcanic origin, as the lava that once flowed across the lunar surface filled in lower areas and created a relatively flat plain. Moreover, the basaltic composition of the Maria differs significantly from the anorthocytic composition of the lunar highlands. Anorthosite is a type of rock composed predominantly of a specific mineral called plagioclase feldspar which is lighter in colour and less dense than basalt. This difference in composition between the Maria and the Highlands is a key factor in the stark contrast we see when looking at the Moon. In terms of size, the Luna Maria are not small features. They make up approximately 16% of the Moon's surface, a significant portion considering the Moon's diameter is more than 2,000 miles. Now that we have a clear understanding of what Luna Maria are, let's delve into why they are concentrated on the near side of the Moon. The concentration of Luna Maria on the near side of the Moon is a fascinating puzzle. A host of theories have been proposed by the scientific community to explain this curious phenomenon. Let's delve into a few of them. One of the most popular theories is tethered to the gravitational interaction between the Moon and the Earth. This theory suggests that the gravitational tug of war between these two celestial bodies resulted in the Moon's slight tilt. This tilt could have caused the lunar crust on the near side to be thinner, paving the way for volcanic activity and the creation of Maria. The strength of this theory lies in its simplicity and its tangible connection to the physical laws we observe on Earth. However, it struggles to account for why Maria are not evenly distributed across the near side. Another theory points inward, towards the Moon's internal structure and thermal evolution. This perspective posits that the Moon in its early days had a molten core. Over time, this molten core cooled unevenly, leading to a thicker crust on the far side and a thinner crust on the near side. This theory can explain the concentration of Maria but raises new questions about the Moon's thermal history, which we are still struggling to fully understand. Some scientists suggest a combination of these theories, arguing that both gravitational dynamics and the Moon's internal structure have played a role in the formation of the Luna Maria. This integrated approach appreciates the complexity of the situation, but, like the other theories, still lacks definitive evidence. The ongoing debate and exploration of these theories highlight the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific understanding. 
Each theory builds upon the last, contributing to a richer, more nuanced picture of our moon's history. While these theories provide some insight, the question still stands, why is the lunar Maria concentrated on the near side of the moon? Despite the unanswered questions, the lunar Maria continues to be a subject of great interest. These dark planes, making up 16% of the moon's surface, are concentrated on the side of the moon we see from Earth, an intriguing puzzle that has yet to be solved. But why does this matter for the future of lunar exploration and settlement? Well, the answer is as vast as the universe itself. Understanding the lunar Maria could be crucial in planning future lunar missions. The moon's surface is not just a barren landscape, it's a geological record of the moon's past. And the lunar Maria in particular could be hiding secrets about the moon's history. Unraveling these secrets could provide invaluable insights into the moon's formation, its volcanic activity, and even its interactions with the Earth. Moreover, the lunar Maria could be a potential site for future lunar settlements. Its flat plains are suitable for landing spacecraft, and the Maria's basaltic soil could potentially be used to produce construction materials. Understanding the Maria's geological makeup could also help us predict and mitigate potential hazards, such as moonquakes or volatile gas emissions. But the benefits of solving this lunar mystery stretch far beyond the moon. The moon, with its untouched geological record, could help us understand the early solar system, and who knows? The lessons learned from the moon could potentially be applied to other celestial bodies, paving the way for future exploration of Mars, Venus and beyond. So as we look towards the future, the Lunar Maria remains a beacon of intrigue and potential. Continued research and exploration of these mysterious planes will undoubtedly propel us closer to answering the questions that have puzzled us for centuries. Unraveling this lunar mystery might just be the key to unlocking new frontiers in our understanding of the moon and beyond.